Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So this is a topic I usually like to cover every two or three months. Um, but to tell the truth, I've completely forgot to cover one recently. And it wasn't until I was on a one-to-one -one, um, doing a check-in call earlier, speaking to a client that overheard a conversation from these two people talking about drop shipping and talking about how it's a scam, it's a waste of time and it doesn't work, that prompted me and reminded me to do a video on this topic. So over the next sort of 10 minutes or so, what I'm gonna do is just give you my own kind of honest answer to the question of does dropshipping work? Is it worthwhile? Is it a scam? Um, and how can you make it work? But first, why should you listen to me then? So um, in case you're new to the channel, I've been doing dropshipping for seven years now. Um, I don't mind showing you this ad account here. So this is an ad account. The date you see on screen is from the beginning of this year. So Jan 1st to April 30th of 2024. I can refresh that as well. So you can see that it is all legit and the numbers are not changing. If you do follow the channel, then you'll probably know that I don't like to show my numbers um, or results very often. I find that it does more harm than good. Um, the person that I want to attract to the channel um, it's not the person that's looking for a get rich quick scheme and showing the numbers tends to attract those types of people. I would much rather be showing my content and talking to people who understand that business takes time, it takes work and they have realistic expectations. So I have some notes on my computer as well. So if I keep um, looking away, that's why. And the plan is to try and do this video in one take. So you know that I haven't written out some like bullshit script that I've put together to try and get views for the sake of doing a YouTube video. I've been doing YouTube now for three years, maybe four years. Um, I've coached probably close on a hundred people from all kinds of different countries. I used to do a series as well on my YouTube channel where I review people's stores. Um, so I have a pretty good understanding and grasp of what people think drop shipping is. And one thing that is apparent over and over when I talk to people is that they have unrealistic expectations, which is through no fault of their own. So it applies to anything you see on social media, not just drop shipping, not just in the make money space, but if you follow your favorite um, fitness guru or your favorite um, influencer that likes to travel or even down to the influencers that just post about their house and how they have the time to make things for their kids or keep their house clean. It can be very easy to just make the assumption that that person walks around at 6% body fat and has an amazing six pack and um, is an amazing shape 24 seven or that person has their life together or that person spends their whole life on private jets flying around visiting the best places in the world. What you don't actually see is what goes on behind the scenes and it's the same with drop shipping. It can be super easy um, even I fall trap of it sometimes because I'm always watching dropshipping content. Um, there's a lot you can learn no matter what level you're at. Um, so even sometimes I will see the results that some people have gotten and I have to remind myself they may have made 100k in their first month or second month but you don't that doesn't happen to you by fluke. There's a lot that goes in behind the scenes and there's a lot of trial and error as well. The chances of you starting a dropshipping business from scratch with zero experience and your first product even making 10k in its first month is probably like 0.001%. There's so many different skills that go into running a dropshipping business and you've probably heard me talk about the four main pillars that go into a dropshipping business, four things that you must do really really well um, to a high standard in order to be successful and I'll talk more about them in a second. One thing I did want to mention as well, um, another thing that I see people um, falling victim of is time scales and how they how quickly they would expect to see results because of social media. It's so easy to watch videos, um, see posts in Facebook groups of how people have scaled stores to X amount um, and have been able to retire their parents or buy a Lamborghini or move to the Hollywood Hills or run their business from the beach. Um, and it's completely unrealistic. So when I first started, it took me about three or four months before I even made my first sale, before I any kind of tangible or proof of concept or any kind of potential. Um, 
I spent, I'll try and find the screenshots. I'm not sure if I'll, but in fact, there's, if you go back to, if you go to my YouTube channel, filter my videos by um, published date and go back to my original ones, I document um, the very first Shopify dropshipping store I started that made my first 100K. So if you go back to those videos and watch them, you'll see exactly what products I sold. You'll see exactly how much money I spent on ads. Um, and you can see that it's not always a straightforward process. It's not always A to B to C to D. Sometimes it's A to Z back to D and all over the place. It's not a linear process. So one thing I would like to take from this video is to take your time when building your business. Don't be chasing the big numbers in the first months. It's only gonna to lead to you skipping corners, not putting the time or the effort or the investment into the areas of your business that you should be doing. It's not normal to make stupid amounts of money in the first weeks, never mind months. If you go into this with the mindset of, I'm gonna try and make my first profits after the first three months, it gives you plenty of time. There's no rush, there's no stress, there's no hurry. Um, and it gives you time to develop your knowledge as you go along as well. The other thing or the other place I see where people going wrong is they'll jump from one store to another. This was another topic in fact that came up today in a call is that this person was saying, oh, I've tried this dog toy and it didn't work out. So I jumped to this store and it didn't work out. So I jumped to this store and it didn't work out. And the issue with each individual store was exactly the same or it potentially could be exactly the same. They didn't actually know where the issue was so before you move on to the next store, before you move on to the next product, it's super, super important that you understand why it didn't work out and you understand why that the business failed. Because unless you know why that is and then better yet, learn how to correct it or learn how to avoid it moving forwards, guess what? You're just gonna make that same mistake and the business is going to fail. So it doesn't matter how many products you test, how many stores you build, um, you're never gonna make, make a single penny. To answer the question then of is dropshipping hard? Yes, it is. Um, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it, of course. And the way you've got to look at it is um, if you compare it to other things that you can achieve and become obtainable. So if you compare it to something as easy as getting your driving license, right? There's millions of people that drive cars. And the reason millions of people drive cars and have a driving license is because obtaining a driving license doesn't necessarily cost that much money and it's not necessarily a massively difficult skill so i would guess i passed my driving test after i think 22 hours of lessons um, so it's not a lot of time to put into learning something each lesson is i don't know it probably costs somewhere between 500 and a thousand pounds right to to get your driving license um, if you pass in the first couple of goes if you compare that to dropshipping, most of the people I've worked with or most of the people that I see starting a dropshipping business, they haven't put anywhere near 22 hours um, of time into their business, never mind even a thousand pounds. The amount of people I talk to that have spent maybe a week, a couple of hours a day putting a store together, they've spent 200 pounds on ads and they're ready to just write it off altogether and say that it's a scam and it doesn't work, which is just completely ridiculous. The reason millions of people have a driving license is because it's easy to achieve, it's easily obtainable. The reason why there's not many people out there that have successful dropshipping businesses is because it's very hard to do. So the difference is how much more willing are you versus the next person to commit to it. If to get a driving license, it, it costs you 10 grand and you had to put in a thousand hours of learning, there'd be a lot less cars on the road, there'd be a lot less drivers on the road because it makes it more difficult to achieve, if that makes sense, and business is exactly the same. The few people who do get to the top and have a successful business and it fulfills their dreams of doing whatever it is they want to do, it's because they're willing to do what the next person isn't. And on that journey, on that path, they've made sure that they're not making the same mistake twice. If you stay, you can pretty much, not guarantee, but you can significantly increase your chances of success if you keep and stay persistent and consistent in drop shipping and say, I'm never gonna give up no matter what. And if you stay on the path no matter what and you never make the same mistake twice, at some point you will become successful. It's, inevit it's inevitable because there's only so many mistakes you can make. And if you keep moving down the path, getting further and further down it and making less and less mistakes, 
it's inevitable. At some point, you're gonna reach the end of that path, which equals success, equals having a business that enables you to quit your nine to five or get that car you've wanted or take your family on holiday, um, whatever it may be. So just a quick recap then. Yes, dropshipping is hard. Um, it's only natural. So if you haven't been getting the results that you hoped for, or if you followed a strategy from somebody who made 50K in a month and you followed that strategy and it didn't make anything, then that's completely normal. One of the hard things, by the way, about doing YouTube videos is to create a specific video and a specific strategy. So I used to do strategy videos all the time in the past and they're great and they can work, but what they don't do is they don't give you a deeper understanding, level of understanding of how dropshipping actually works. So what this means is that you'll follow, you've probably done this yourself if you try dropshipping, is you've found a video on YouTube about a certain strategy, you followed it and it hasn't worked. And then because you don't understand the inner workings of it, then you don't know what to do next. You just move on to the next strategy and the next strategy and the next strategy. And yes, you may find a strategy one day that makes you that first 10K, but the second thing starts to take a downturn, then ultimately the business is gonna fail because you don't have that deeper level of understanding of how things actually work. So whenever I work with people, um, there's like two things that I'll do for them. Number one is I'll make sure they get the results, which is obviously super, super important because that's what they're paying me for. But it's no good me just building their store, supplying ad creatives, giving them the products, introducing them to my agent, and then writing the ads for them. Because then when the business gets passed over to them, it's gonna fail because they have no clue what I've done. So the other thing that I like to give them is the, the knowledge and the understanding of why I've done it that way and how they should do it and how they can do it. So before we move down that path and before we go on to the next step, I always make sure they have a proper understanding um, of what that step is and what goes into doing that step well. In terms of what the steps are then, um, or pillars, there's four pillars to a successful dropshipping business. Um, first thing first is the products. The most important step without products, of course, you have no way of making any money. There's loads and loads of things that go into product selection, too many to cover in one video. So what I'm going to do, in fact, is I'll link um, in the video description below, a link that will take you to a free training, 100% free. Um, you plunk your email address in, plunk your name in, and you'll be able to watch it instantly. And I think I think it's an hour long. It's an hour long on the four pillars, 100% free. Um, there's no like course sale or anything like that at the end, it's all free. Um, and it'll go over these four pillars in a lot more detail. But to summarize and give you an overview, then you have your product, very, very important, of course. Um, you have your store, you obviously need somewhere to sell that product. You need a supplier, somebody who can supply the product, and then obviously you need um, some form of marketing strategy, some form of method of getting customers onto your store to buy the product. So you have your four pillars, and you need all four. If you do just one of these pillars incorrectly, the whole thing breaks down. So think of these pillars as holding up your business or holding up the foundations of your house. If you knock one of the pillars down, the whole thing is going to fall down. So you could have a brilliant, brilliant product, a brilliant store, and a supplier ready to ship it to your customers. But if you have no way of getting people onto your Shopify store, nobody's gonna see your product, nobody's gonna buy it. You could have a brilliant, brilliant product, a brilliant, brilliant Shopify store, a really crappy supplier, but a brilliant marketing campaign getting thousands of orders on a daily basis, but if you have a supplier that can't supply them or provides a poor quality product, it's gonna to lead to a ton of refunds, charge backs, um, annoyed customers, and your business is gonna fail. You need all four of these things. So make sure you go check out that video um, if that's of interest to you. Um, so I've been talking now for about 40 minutes. I think I've addressed the question. Um, I do want to end the video on a positive. I don't want people to watch this video and think, ah, dropshipping's harder than it's worth, um, because it's not. There will be tough times, and I lied to you, and I would be lying to you if I said, even now there's still times at night where I lie in bed, and there's just that one thing bugging me, keeping me up at night, because I don't know what to do, or I'm dreading one thing or another, but that's just part of the parcel. You know, there's no, unless you win the lottery, then there's negatives to every direction, every journey or every path you decide to go down. 
Um, one thing I will say is that the freedom it gives me, especially now somebody who is a father of two children under two, the freedom it gives me to work from home whenever I want and spend as much time or as little time as I want in the house um, with them um, truly is second to none. So just make sure that when you get into dropshipping, you're doing it for the right reasons. And if you are, when you do get to that level that you're hoping for, it will 100% be worth it. Sorry, I paused then because I thought the camera was going to stop. Um, yeah, it, it, it will be worth it when you do um, actually get there. So that's it for me in this video. Um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Let me know what your struggles have been in the comment section down below. Potentially I'll be able to answer some of them for you. Um, if not, make sure you subscribe if you enjoy the content. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.